2,000 meters and runners lead the machine from that 2,000 meter marker. Absolutely no pace on, and Joshua's crown restrained in the early stages. Impreniakis also a little bit keen. There's absolutely no speed on, and Radio Waves is now going to go on. An easy lead for Radio Waves. Joshua's crown and Emperor Niarchus now riders have got their hands full in second and third looking to restrain their respective mounts. Selborne Supremacy is racing next line. Be with me and King Jays. Then we drop back to Royal Galaxy. A King is born as the trailer. Only six lengths in it. 1400 meters to go and Radio Waves, he settled well in front. Joshua's crown's on the outer second. Emperor Niarchus at the rail. The Greyers be with me, only three lengths off them. King Jace has settled well to the inside. Then comes Royal Galaxy, Selborne Supremacy, and a King is born. Wags the tail, only five and a half lengths in it. Still Radio Waves controlling his speed in front there. Radio Waves from Joshua's crown. No move from anybody else behind. Emperor Nyaka sits towards the inside. The Grey be with me. Then comes King Jace. Further back, Selborne Supremacy. Royal Galaxy, a king is born. Radio Waves about to be pressurized by Joshua's crown. There's only a half a length in it. Emperor Nyaka still sits towards the inside. Third, the green cap. The Grey is be with me. King Jace further back, Selborne Supremacy, Royal Galaxy, and a King is born's going to have to pick up the gallop from there. Radio Waves as they come to the final 500 from Joshua's Crown. Towards the inside, Emperor Niarch is going to go in, then comes King Jace. The Greyers, be with me, makes an extreme outside move with 400 meters to go. Radio Waves, Emperor Niarch, Joshua's Crown, King Jace, be with me. It's a wide open affair. Radio Waves is digging in. Emperor Niarch is now the green cap, becomes the live wire. And Emperor Niarch, King Jace is now running on strong towards the inside. King Jace and Emperor Niarch, King Jace, Emperor Niarch but King Jace coming on the better. King Jace won at Emperor Niarchus second. Radio Waves, Joshua's crown, be with me. A king is born, Selborne Supremacy and Royal Galaxy. A real exciting finish over the last furlong, but number three, King Jace for the Goth Puller Stable, a son of King of Kings. He times it dead right the last hundred. Emperor Niarchus moved up a persistent challenger with 200 to go, but King Jace will come through to register that fourth career victory by three parts of a length. Emperor Niarchus comes out second best, the longtime leader Radio Waves third, and Joshua's crown will fill the quartets. Be With Me moved up to a point at the 300, and then came a King is Born, Selborne Supremacy. 300 meters to go, Radio Waves look to find more Emperor Niarchus, and now King Jace is about to be popped the question towards the inside, and it becomes a dogfight over the last 150. Emperor Niarchus and King Jace, but it is going to be number three, King Jace. Joe Randolph now asks for maximum, and King Jace, he pulls out all the stops that last 75 meters. He goes on to register another courageous victory from Emperor Niarchus. Back to the studio. Well, number three, King Jace, another very good win. A gutsy performance, managed to grab uh, Emperor Niarchus very close in the race. And Sue, uh, watching the race uh, from the stands, you could see it wasn't much of a pace. Kevin has slowed it down. Alec Forbes was horse in second, was pulling very hard. What was it like where you were? Yeah, I agree with you there. Uh, you know, when once Kevin took it up, I knew he was going to set it to suit him. Um, himself. But, uh, yeah, suit himself. But, um, you know, having said that, I was behind the horse. I wanted to follow. I thought he was the main danger. Um, and this was, I think, I think it's been more effective over a mile. So I was actually happier that they went slow the early yeah, part, which suited yeah. me. Mm. So as we came to the straight, they started to pick it up, and I was just able to run them out of it. Yeah, they won a very good, very gutsy race, because the other horse gave you a little bit of cheek. Yeah, as you said, the two of us pulled away. But yeah, um, yeah it was a gutsy run, gutsy win, and big thanks to Garth and his team. And well done to all the connections. What's the rest of your card look like? Uh, I've got another nice ride for Garth coming up. Uh, I think it's in the s it's the seventh coming you, up. We can, we, you can come back to us later. Bit of time, I should get it. <laughs> get it. All right, we, we'll yeah. look at all your rides. We'll follow all your See rides. how we go, yeah. <laughs> thanks, to you. Thanks, it'll be safer. Thanks, Bob. Come and have a chat. <coughs> Where's Garth down in Cape Town? 
He's flying as we speak. Okay, lovely. So he's getting down there as well. I'm off yes. tonight. It's good to, uh, good to have a winner. It's wonderful to have winners, and it doesn't matter when. Um, I'd like to say good luck to the owners and good luck to Garth. He deserves it. He puts in a lot of hard work. And to everybody back at the yard and to Cathy in Cape Town, thanks for all the support that you give us in all your different roles. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come and have a chat, my friend. <coughs> this horse has been a lot of fun. Yeah, truly, truly, a lot, lot, lot of fun we had with this horse. <laughs> he's always there, and he got, you know that he, he won today over 2,000 metres. Just shows that he, he hasn't stopped winning, and uh, he'll keep winning this horse. Yeah, I think so. We're going to have much more fun with him. And to uh, to my partner, Anand, who's in Johannesburg. Sorry you're not here, but uh, another very, very good race. Excellent. Well done. Thank you. There we go. To everyone concerned, Rodney Clark and your breeder of King Jace, who's won another. A fancied runner in what was a difficult race, and uh, it's kept, I'd say, most people in the pick six.